All right, boys. Welcome to another episode of RGB Radio. This is the virtual edition quarantine session with Charm. Good day, yet? What's good, man? What up? What are you saying these days, bro? Just relaxing and uh, taking this time to kind of unwind, get my workouts in. Yeah. You know, I'm a loner anyway, man. I, I isolate all the time, so this is not a big deal. One thing I'm curious about, Charn, is do you receive what? all of memes? <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Nine times a day. <laughs> so from who, yeah? From us? Bro, it's like, you really like this thing, if you went, yo, relief fund and it's called Ajat. Yo, then it's like, yo, <laughs> the president has now been tested positive for court, like COVID. You click it, <laughs> I'm like, yo. I think more people have been exposed to Kalajar than to COVID. <laughs> That's facts. That's 100% facts. That's 100% facts. The thing is, yo, I've been receiving too much Kalajar now. I'm getting tired of him. He's not funny anymore. Bro, it's not as it really used to be. No, it's disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh man, really? And then Kalajar is boy, like one of his other boys, yo, that guy's even more destructive. That's a boy? <laughs> He's a boy. Oh, like, remember the meme you sent Charn last night? With both the color jerks? <laughs> yeah, there's two. There's another one that's joining uh, one. That guy's deadly. That guy's that, that, that guy even more deadly. Jeez, He's wild, bro. Man. But it's... I love it. There's a there's an Easter one that's out right now. You guys seen that one? Easter... No, you don't send it to me. I'm gonna send it right now. <laughs> you better look at it. <laughs> one, of my friends, one of my friends sent it to me. Bro, how are you guys dealing with quarantine though? I know Apol's still gonna work. This guy's like living life like it's normal. Living life like it's the same no, shit. It's it's sad, man. Like it's like you work so hard to kind of like get rid of all these bad habits. It takes you years, and then in, within two weeks you're back to your old ways. I feel <laughs> like I'm in university again, man. Bro, honestly, I waking up at twelve, school. playing video games for like six hours, not doing anything. Oh, I'm like, yo, that's my right. weekly schedule is so off, bro. That's a life. So off. I think I think everybody's had their time to kind of mess around and be lazy. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's like you go back into being productive and then you have your lazy phase and you go back into being productive. Honestly, I think one thing that's been working for me, like I, in the beginning, it was like it was like tough to transition to like going from such a busy schedule to just being like not doing anything. Mm. I'm just like taking it day by day now, like not trying to plan my days though, just like wake up and be like, yo, what should I do today? And then just slowly talk about it. For me, it's the opposite. I have to plan my day, otherwise, I won't do anything. Yeah. So it's like, I know, like yesterday, I was like, all right, I'm going to shoot these three videos. I'm going to read a part of this book, and I just make sure I get it done, right? Yeah. If I don't have a to do list, I'm screwed. Mm-hmm. I'm the same way before, man. Before, like, when like, we were just normal life, like, I had, a, I had to have a schedule or else I wasn't going to get shit done. But now it became the opposite during quarantine because when I had a list, I'm just like, I don't want to do this right now. I don't want to fucking do my thing. You don't want to post that money. You got to do what's best for you, right? Yeah, and man. like I said, I think everybody's having their phases of being lazy and being productive. Yeah. As long as you do what's best for you. Yeah, man. Yeah. I've been going through a lot of walks, though, man. A lot of walks. Like you, said, you said you're always sore now. You said you're getting jacked, though. Well, I'm getting jacked, too, bro. Totally, totally. But I'm not eating enough. <laughs> That's the one thing. So you got to eat enough, man. Bro, I'm the opposite. Exactly. I'm getting all, man. Bro. Yeah, really. I'm getting no, but, but your definition of not working out at all must, for Amrit or myself, must be like a full workout session. To be honest, a couple I'm going, light. I'm going light, and I'm doing like maybe three, four workouts a week. That's it. Then bro, he's like, Jaren's probably like, yo, I'm only doing 100, 200 pushups three, a day. Like, a week. <laughs> we're like, yo, bro. Like, that was yesterday. <laughs> He's like right here. He's like, yo, yesterday I did 200 push-ups. <laughs> like, I did 100 push-ups before I went in the shower. That's not a workout, bro. That's just like bro, big pump, you know? Some people relax, relax, push-ups. Bro. relax. <laughs> <laughs> 100 push-ups is a workout for me. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that's still sore. I'm sore the next day after doing that. 100. Yeah, I'm so sore. Thing. It's like, soft perspective with trying. Bro, I'm getting jacked though. I'm, yeah, my goal is to be more jacked than trying by the end of quarantine. Yo, you can do that, man. Bro, I'm gonna be jacked, bro. Yeah, Train with Amrit, bro. <laughs> yeah, I just, <laughs> just jack his old brand. <laughs> Project Revive, bro. Oh, um, shit. Put, put him out of business. <laughs> Charlie's not going to have a business Yo, to go back to challenges. after he's done. <laughs> Yo, there's three challenges, man. Like, every time I go on social media, every day is a different challenge. There's like, I remember there was a push-up challenge, and then there was like, there's this new makeup thing that these girls are doing. They're going like this, and then they look 
Yeah, you do something like that too, bro. Yeah. Like <laughs> where's, your, where's your video? No, you do this and then come back, you're clean shaved. <laughs> Yo, I should do the I should do the opposite. I should do, should do one. I should I should trim it down right at the end and put that as the first video and then make this like this the last video. Make do it. Massive. Yeah, you can do it. Do it, do it Yo, guys, that's what I'm saying. So there's all these challenges, but we need like a man challenge, you know, like a bundle challenge. Yeah, challenge. Huh? There is, there is. There's a, there's a few. There's one with the same the where they. The oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen that one. The one that um, uh, what they posted, right? Yeah, they yeah, they were usually cool. wearing a parka or something, and then they started oh, wearing their no scarves. <laughs> <laughs> Every bundle is different, just like college job. <laughs> you down for that? No, bro. Come on, bro. That's, 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 really that's an everyday thing, bro. Epo is <laughs> 100% taking inspiration. Bro, I'm, I'm good with it. It's just, I just Epo gotta get turned 100% has photos like college job on its own. Fun, though. But the question is, how many people have been exposed to it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yo, yo um, have you guys been reading? Have you guys, have you guys been Box. reading anything? Why do you ask me? Why do you ask me this? Well, like, obviously, 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 obviously not. Own a book. <laughs> obviously not. <laughs> Listen, you guys have wisdom. Send it over. Bro, um, I'll pre- and then I'll just pretend like I read the whole book. Yo, usually I read like a lot of like motivational books, a lot of self help books. Like, but this time, yo, I'm reading this book. It's the, uh, you know, I'm reading this. <clears throat> it's done by Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Really? Well, that's yeah. a really interesting it's, cover. Um, it's it's about tennis. It's a fantasy book. It's actually the first time in over ten years I've read a book like on fantasy and shit like that, like a yeah. fiction book. Like Wait, you say that's made? That's written by Kobe Bryant? Yeah, Kobe made a whole yeah. series. And really? it's really good, man. I'm really enjoying it. So wow, so different for me, out of my comfort zone, you know. So wow. I've been reading a lot too, bro. I've been reading. What uh, you've been reading? Uh, Ryan Holiday books. I ordered a bunch of them. Who's that? Who that? Author. Nice dope. What's What's so dope about it? Cause it's cool. <laughs> Elaborate, bro. <laughs> bro, maybe you like, start reading books. No, fuck that shit. <laughs> I'd rather make videos. <laughs> videos. But yeah, I started. Uh, videos, I started the videos, book. I just finished. Uh, I just finished reading Stillness for the second time, and then oh. it, uh, now I started uh, Obstacles the Way. Oh yeah, that's dope. That's a thick book. I got that right here. This one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just started that too. And then, Yo, uh, are you guys dealing with the social distancing? Bro, social distancing, bro. What's I haven't seen anyone for like fucking mad long. Only what people, social I only see people through screens and shit. Like the only people I've been seeing is my family. It's like I get tired of being indoors for so long, so I just go for yeah. walks and stuff. But yo, it's like I'm kind of getting used to it. We gotta, be, we gotta be responsible though. We gotta flatten the curve, you know, and we gotta yeah. do our part, right? Because at the end of the day, if you don't, you're gonna be on six months. Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, mental health wise, because yo, I know during this time a lot of people are being like, oh, like. A lot of people, like mental health wise, are probably all over this. I know that sometimes, like, if I get, I feel fucked. Like sometimes, like just being so isolated, being at home, away from people, and not just being able to do our normal things anymore, it really fucking affects me sometimes. Where like I don't want to do jack shit with my day, and like I just feel down all day. Like, what are some? Because I know you made a post, turn uh, that said what to do to help your mental health and stuff and like i found that list really helpful yeah 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 so, i remember seeing how that. are you guys been doing like during this time to keep safe i think i think genuinely i think nobody is safe at the minute in terms yeah. of like mental health i think everybody's mental health is deteriorating even the people that are out there helping people they're still deteriorating and when i made that list it's funny enough i went through that list and i wasn't doing any of them yeah. and it was a wake-up call for me Mm-hmm. Um, I'll be like, you know what, like, I'm waking up late, I'm not doing my usual, you know, good habits, and I'm, I'm, I'm crumbling, you know, and it's like, it was actually reflected in my posts, like, I was looking at the quality of my posts, and they weren't that great, they weren't up to my standard, and yeah. if you notice, if you notice my stories now, it, I feel like I got my mojo back, I feel like I'm super creative, like, my work is incredibly clean, um, and I like it, and, and what's happening is, 
as my mental health is kind of like getting better or like maintaining at a high standard, my 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 work is actually being reflected with it too. Yeah. So um, I think it's, it all comes down to understanding that if you are okay, if you're not okay. Because when you're not okay, I feel like we we just look past it. We think yeah. everything's okay, but really it's not, right? So it's about finding those cues. For me, it's like if I'm not working out and I'm not reading, I feel like something's off. Mm-hmm. As long as I'm doing those two, I'm, I'm good. No, 100%. I feel 100%. like one thing that I've been doing is like, uh, whenever I do feel like I'm in these moments where like I feel like I'm like feeling all fucked up or I'm not doing what I usually do, I try to just dissect what's wrong or like what is bothering me at the moment and just try to dissect it and learn from it and see, yo, how can I move past this? Because it's not as easy. Like for me, it's like I, re- I need to be out to create, like what I was creating, like all the content I were creating, my work and all that required to be with people, right, constantly. So now being totally away from it, it's like now I gotta find creative ways to somehow still do those things, but without people. So like finding ways to get creative and find ways to just get past that and like past that negativity and do yeah. small things. Like I've been trying to like uh, find new hobbies, right? To get like to be in the moment and things and just like focus on the craft itself, right? What, are, what kind of hobbies have you picked up? What kind of new things have you been doing? Bro, I've been, so I've been going on a lot of bike rides. Those are one thing that like I just love doing now. And like also beat making, man. This is one thing, like I, I suck at beat making, but I'm like, yo, this is something that I don't care to share with people. It's just something I want to do for myself. And it's like you're just learning those softwares and all that. And like what those moments help with is like, oh, it's not like something I want to like, I don't want to create like the next Dr. Dre B. But it's more like in those moments, I'm truly just present. And I'm just present like, yourself, man. Right? And just like creating and having fun with it, right? Yeah. What about you, Apa? Bro, my mental health is actually pretty sick, luckily. But uh, because I'm pretty much an introvert, so I would stay inside a lot. A lot of the stuff, if anything, if I go outside and meeting people, it's more of like I'm coming out of my comfort zone. So staying inside, just creating content, making being creative, it's freaking sick. Like I'm actually being more creative because I'm inside and I don't have to go outside and I don't have to be distracted in any way. One thing I find really crazy about this time is like, just like what has happened and how quickly it has happened. It really makes you think like how quickly your life can just, like whatever you have and whatever you've been doing can go away that quick. As quickly as you've done things or whatever you earn things, it could go as quick. It's really yeah. interesting time because like right now you can't really do much, right? There, there's a lot of businesses that are affected. There's a lot of people that are affected. There's people out there that need to be socializing to stay good and their lives are just totally different you can't see family members anymore it's tough man that's sad that's sad man i think i think society number one it kind of needed something like this yeah so you appreciate you know what's important Mm -hmm. um it's just sad that like everybody's affected by this yeah what i mean like kids can't go to school like so it's like their education and their growth is now stunted like for one year you know teenagers you know, people who are going to graduate can't graduate. Mm-hmm. You know, people who only just got promoted, how does that happen? You know what I mean? So there's a lot of people that they're struggling in terms of finances, like how you going to pay your bills and stuff. So mm-hmm. like, even me, like that's my main thing is like as a guy that always worked, like I just want to get back to work. Man. You're, we're so consumed with our lives sometimes. We don't step back and just think sometimes in this moment. <laughs> a lot of people are think. alive, but I'm uh, sorry, everybody's alive, but they're not living. Yeah. Right, you got to be living. You know what I mean? What, what I find funny is how the, <clears throat> the government was just like, yeah, we're going to go, you know, two weeks, everybody stays home and everything will be back to normal. It's like, what made you think and realize that after two weeks, this would just die out and life would be normal? Again? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's going to take months, unfortunately. Yeah. It's um, crazy just thinking you, about it. It's like, yo, the whole summer is potentially at risk. It's like, yo, this whole year is at risk. Possibly be in the same situation we're at right now. It's like I was doing some research too myself and I was like looking into like the swine flu, how long it lasted. You know, those things, like these diseases average about one year to a year and a half in length. Like that's how long they usually stay. Because they need to, because they need to with the vaccine, right? Like they need to kind of experiment with it too, right? And now think of NBA, man. NBA, the football, the Olympics, everything shut down, man. That's it, man. And it's like, yo, when do you think, um, like, the fact that now thinking about going to a sporting event, event with 20,000 people seems strange. It's like, how do you think that's going to really, 
it's going to take time for us to eventually get to that point again. Like, you know, like yeah, there's a lot of people you know that are going to be living in fear. I, like let's just say, you know, it's all done and it's all over and there's a Raptors game. I'm going to go. Yeah. No, I know. Yeah, I think people will still continue living their lives, but they'll just be cautious. You're going to see more people wearing masks and gloves in public now. That's going to be the new norm, mm-hmm. right? Um, it's going to take years for things to get normal again, but I don't think there's. I don't think normal. It's not going to go back to normal. Yeah, there'll always be precautions. You know, like the plexiglass that they're putting up in stores now. They're not going to come down. They're staying up. Like that's the life we're going to be living now. When we look at like major events in the world that have happened in the past, like I was even talking about this with my family, is like there's moments that are in major impact on the world. Like you have 9/11, you have other big events that happened on this earth, and after those things, there's been major differences. Major, um, it hasn't been the same. So like after 9/11, for example, travel has not been the same. Right, so like, it's it up, yeah. Like, after this, hundred percent, something's gonna change. Either it's with the workplaces, everything. Mostly, a lot of companies may go virtual because now you understand that yo, know, we don't really need a building, maybe, right? To have. Yeah, all yeah, yeah. I yeah, think well, some companies have realized that, like yeah. Microsoft. I think they realize there's a big benefit with uh, working from home. So I think a lot of companies might start uh, enacting those policies to uh, stay at home and work from home. And it's actually yeah. good for a lot of people. I think that's what a lot of uh, engineers or computer scientists want. Mm-hmm. Want to stay at home and be able to work from there. So that's that's that. Yeah, but it's gonna suck for a lot of people too, man. You know, it's different. Look, okay, we don't think, really know, right? I think a lot of people are gonna want training after this because people are at home. They're gonna realize that hey, man, my own workouts are not good enough. You know what I mean? Um, or they're just like, hey man, like I didn't work out at all. I need to step it up again. So I think training will will maybe not like public gyms. Yes, public gyms. Everybody's gonna flock to them because they miss the gym. Mm-hmm. But again, you got all these people in the gyms and stuff. But training wise, when it's just you, your client in the studio with those, maybe one or two more of the trainers, I think we'll we'll thrive and we'll be okay. Mm-hmm. Just, we gotta get back and open again, man. Yeah, man. It should be interesting. I feel like they're open that shit up, bro. There's a big unknown. That's the thing. It's like this is a big, big unknown. Big just like eight balls brain. Open that shit up right now. <laughs> Your brain? I'm a reach. No, not my brain, bro. The freaking gym. I'm trying to work out right now. I've been running. I finally got back into running and stuff. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of push-ups here and there at home, but I definitely need to crank it up a notch. Yeah. Hey, you want to open the gym just for us? No. <laughs> um, you can do the virtual classes, my friend. Yeah, you know, you offer virtual classes, bro. Take advantage. Yo, Walk you look up, man. Yo, actually, you know what? I'll open it up if you read a book. It's not gonna happen. Nah, man. I rather, I rather make videos. Videos? What videos have you been making? Well, I got, I got some New York blogs. I gotta post out. I've been doing some creative stuff with photos and stuff too. So. Yo, funny enough, that's actually we're going back to the hobbies and stuff. That's what I've been doing. I've been playing around in Lightroom and and with uh, presets and playing around with like I didn't realize how much post production like on a photo, like like yeah. post work, like drastically changes a picture, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, does, man. I've been so obsessed with cool. making sure the settings are right and making sure like I take this picture like. And then it's like I won't be happy with it. But then you go to Lightroom and you play around, and it's like, holy shit, this photo is com- makes so much sense. Now when I go on people like photographers' IG pages and stuff, it's like you can see. I know like, most people they all play around with, you know, with the presets and the, oh, and the yeah. things. It's and- a good time to do things that you wouldn't do otherwise. I feel like I, yeah. I think even for myself, just messing around with different creative forms and just finding different ways to get creative just not with like video making and photo editing but, like doing other forms of creativity like other forms of arts and just finding ways like even like when i started like i'm now like make beats for fun and like i have a new appreciation for people that make music because it's not it's not easy and now you can make music for your vlogs now sure. you know what i mean so so everything is you everything's your own um i've been playing around with a few transitions and green screens and stuff like that so i found this good kind of tutorial it's pretty sick so it's like you have a green picture on your phone and it's like you're on your phone and and then you put the phone to the camera the camera just goes towards the phone yeah but when you play around because it's a green screen you can go straight into another scene mm-hmm. because oh, it's the that's green a, screen. oh yeah, that's so it's like a camera goes in the phone and it, it's in another 
completely different setting. Mm -hmm. Oh, eight oh, bucks. Got you, bro. Got you, bro. Mm, I'm getting, I'm getting some ideas, yo. So yeah, man. These are all TikTok transitions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I could tell. I could tell. <laughs> How have you been enjoying TikTok, man? I feel like the the surge of TikToks has increased dramatically since quarantine started. Yeah, everybody's at home, bored at their brains, man. What's But that being said, it's um, the reason why it's good is because um, TikTok is the only platform that allows you to um share with other platforms okay so like ig you can share and copy your, your the link yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah. it doesn't say hey post on snapchat post on whatsapp so tiktok's really open like that yeah. so you're getting more reach um and um the algorithm is just fucking nuts because you can have a video with eight like eight views and then the next one's like eight million it's 100%. ridiculous 100%. and um it's where people's attention is right mm -hmm. And I've been like, I've been really kind of like going deep into it, and and my followers fucking grew, man. Yeah. Yo, it took me. What have you, you been getting deep into? Just like what works, what doesn't, the way the algorithm works, uh, what I want from it. Okay, there's no oh, point yeah. me having a video of me dashing cups and another video of me doing a fucking dance like this, and then another video of me doing fitness. Like I want to stick with one thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um. Yeah, man. Like it took me years to get twenty-five thousand followers on on Instagram, and it took me a month to get twenty-five thousand on TikTok. Crazy, man. People they give them out. Like nuts. I haven't posted a like. Usually, what we do is recycle a lot of our content to into TikTok. Like I haven't posted for like a while now, and it's like every day there's just more people following. And it's like and like there's a video that I posted. Like the first video I posted, and it's still doing very well. So it's like yeah. it's weird. It's like how the algorithm is, and it's pretty funny. It's like, Yo. Yeah, you should never, you should never count like like count a post out because if I'm on my feed, I'll see somebody else's post from like three months ago. It'll still yeah. come up. You know what I mean? Put it back on. It disappeared. If you got bored of uh, listening to uh, TikTok. Put it back. But yeah, man, hundred percent. Oh uh, yeah! Anyone watching this, definitely jump on TikTok because number one, it's not going to go anywhere. Number two, it'll probably be bought out and more money will be put into it. Mm -hmm. Therefore, there'll be more settings, there'll be more features and shit like that. Yeah. At the minute, it's so basic. I think it's it has like, potential to be the biggest platform, man. This big deal. It will. It will. And they've actually just opened up a new feature. Um, you can put a clickable link in your bio. Yeah. So on oh, my YouTube, yeah, because yeah. yeah, that wasn't there before. So yeah, I, before it I, used to be just that option where you hit like the button and then it gives you the link. Yeah, but no, now they have clickable links now. That's dope. So it's like if you have a product to sell, you can now sell on TikTok, mm -hmm. right? And at the end of the day, man, like. Oh really? Eh? Yeah. So, um, because Instagram, yeah, man. there's no, there's very minimal organic reach now on Instagram. Everything is paid and sponsored, right? Just I went on it like a month or so ago just to kind of play around with it, and yeah. a few things popped off, man. If you yeah. have, if you have, number one, if you're skilled at something and you have something to show, you're gonna benefit from it, right? Yeah. And we we live in an age now where every single person can benefit from being on any platform. Yeah. So there's something for you, you know, whether you're young, old, you know, whatever you, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever you like, there's something for you. And if you guys, and if you're skilled like you two. Yeah. Definitely a place to either learn from it or showcase some shit. You know what I mean? That's my two cents. No, hundred percent. Something to think about for sure. And you Just know what's incredible? My content would make you it's happy. Good. Create. Yeah. And bro, it could be the simplest things, man. Yeah. I think the simplest things are the best. You mm -hmm. know what's crazy? I'm I'm big on al analytics. I'm big on like numbers and stuff. Before on um, TikTok, I would go to my analytics and see when my followers are on. And it's like you see this like. Nobody's on, and then at 3 p.m. there's a big chalk that goes down. Yeah. Now because of mm. quarantine, it's just a straight line. Yeah. Everybody's mm. on at all times of the day, man. Yeah. So now it's the time to kind of get yourself out there. Yeah. I'm gonna try and do put 100 push-ups every day without fail. Seven yeah. days a week without fail, 100 push-ups. Yeah. I want to setting goals and just sticking with them, not setting like even like just a small amount of goals, maybe like two, three goals, but just really like sticking with them and just doing them, being dedicated to them. That's also one thing you gotta really think, you know? It's like, you can do something for like a week and it's like, oh, I'm doing it, you're doing it. Then you, you might catch yourself slacking a little bit, right? So it's like, you're just trying to stay focused as possible on those goals and just make a habit of, you know, yeah. staying focused. And, doing and even like this, like this, like this, uh, this call, right? Like, you know, if, if people have, 
you know, obligations to me and make podcasts and make videos, but now that they can't because of social distancing, we're making it happen via, you know, the camera, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. We're still doing it. Still see you guys. We still learn from each other and grow and still mm-hmm. create content with other people, right? Mm-hmm. Got to get it done. Appreciate. Yeah, I think we should make our own uh, Kalajak meme of April. Yeah, no, no, we should do one with you, Karan. I think you'll look at oh. all the. Oh, I got a sick picture, April. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 Yo, listen, man. You don't have any of my. Well, I'm pretty sure I can. Yo, I'm pretty sure this guy's like messing his connection up, so he can. Yeah, so man. What kind of fucking DSP has Wi-Fi do you have? Last time, yo, the last time we did this shit, he was talking oh, shit from Harry about mm-hmm. his connection, and now look at this movie. Yo, where you going, man? I think he's put something in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I remember years ago, man. If my microwave was on, my my Xbox would like the connection would. Actually, yeah. This is years ago, man. This is like almost ten years ago. Oh, man. it's wild. Oh man, it's a good talk, man. I like these small little quarantine sessions that we're doing, especially with like our friends and stuff. Just catching up, but just talking about our experiences. I feel like our experiences, talking to one another, you learn certain things. So just talking to you guys, yeah, I learn certain things. I now want to apply that when I go right. And I think that's what we've kind of pretty much discussed today is like quarantine, what we've done, what we want to do, mm-hmm. you know, TikTok, Alajat and April. <laughs> Alajat is key though. It's, it's key. key. It's key. It's you know what we should do? We should we should get a, a like you should get a fourth one here, right? It should just just be him, just his <laughs> just his face. <laughs> just call it up. Oh my goodness. Man, I appreciate you coming on, bro. I know April's frozen because Gandhi's booty right there. <laughs> Can hear us. Well, man, I appreciate you coming on, man. We'll 100% do another quarantine session. I love it. I do this all the time. But man, it's always good talking to you, man. Okay. Respect, Apo. Love, love you guys. Yo, Apo, we're ending this shit, eh? You fucking you missed everything. Yo, my bad. Yo, freaking half the time this thing's disconnecting. It's okay, man. Enjoy yourselves. Okay. I did.